Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jimmy with Tropicana Golf, and welcome back. Today's headline is how to play good, consistent golf all the time. Now, sometimes you get lucky and you play well. The next day you go out and shoot 175,000. <laughs> it happens, and it's golf, and it's going to happen. But there's a way to play consistent all the time. There really is, and I want to teach it to you because that's where I'm at right now. I play the same way every time and it works. I've even seen of all the thousands of comments that you guys have left, it's been raining the past couple days here in Southern California. I sat down, read all the comments, responded to everybody. Thank you for that, I appreciate it. I get so much good feedback from you guys. So it's very important, I wanna hear from you. And the tips are working for people. I see, Jimmy, I lowered my handicap a couple points, five strokes off my game, this, the other, the putting tip helps. It's working, guys. It's working. And I really, really see that. And I'm so happy about that, that it's actually working for you because it works for me. Now I want it to work for you. There's even a gentleman, Professor Mash, seeing you, sir. Congratulations. You're starting to play better. You're understanding the concept of smart, good, consistent golf. Out of all those thousands of comments, there was one that stuck out to me that said, Jimmy, I love your videos, but I hear the same principles in every video. Now he was doing that as like a dig at me. And I said, you hear the same principles in every video. Hello, <laughs> that's a good thing. Imagine if I made a video today telling you to do one thing and tomorrow I made something that told you to do completely different. And on Wednesday, one completely different than that. Your head would be spinning around like this. What is he talking about? I play by one way and I do one thing over and over and over. And if you want to be good at golf, you must do the same thing over and over and over again. That is the true secret of playing good golf. Once you get a scenario and a rhythm and a tempo and a technique, stick to it. It will benefit you in the long run. I promise you, I'm gonna show you mine and I'm gonna show you how to play good golf all the time right after this. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Jimmy, what is it? What is it that makes your game so consistent? What are you doing? What can we do so that we can be consistent? That's the most important thing in golf, consistent. If you can do the same thing over and over, you know what to expect and you can play to your strengths and or your weaknesses. That's what I do. I aim to the wide side of the field, meaning the big part of the fairway where there's no hazards. And then I take the same swing every single time, the swing that I've been teaching you. I'm right-handed. I throw right-handed, I write right-handed, I eat right-handed, everything right-handed. So I think right-handed with my golf swing. I turn back, I wave to the camera just to here. I don't take it way up here. I think right here, shoulder height from here, quick little bump towards the target, sweep the ground. Let's look at it this way. Turn, bump, sweep. With the club, it looks like this, bump, every single time. If I can just repeat that over and over, I know what my ball is gonna do. I'm gonna take you on a ride right now. This is a par five, long par five, up the hill, dog leg right. I'm gonna hit different shots to show you, you can play like this and this will work for you. So without any further ado or a don't, there's the ball, there's the hole. I wanna hit it somewhere up there. Let's angle this so you can see it better. There we go. So I need to start it over here because this is the wide side. Just let it fade. I don't want to start it over here because if it goes over here, that's out of bounds. But over here, I know I got a lot of room. So I aim just left of that tree and I do exactly what I told you. Turn to here, boom, and smooth. This speed right here. I don't swing any harder than that. I don't get here and get aggressive. No, it's very, very smooth. Here we go. I 
it's a perfect example. I started on the left, it goes right. It went right, but the fact that I started it left keeps the ball in play. Now, was that a perfect shot? No. Am I gonna hit perfect shots every time? No, never. But it gives me an opportunity to progress. I didn't hit the ball out of bounds. I kept it in play. Could it maybe be in a bunker or in the rough? Yeah, absolutely. But that's golf. You're not gonna hit perfect shots. You have to learn how to miss. Once you learn how to miss properly, you're gonna change it. Your scores are gonna come down. Don't miss in an area where all hell's gonna break loose, okay? You miss in a spot where, hey, yeah, I missed, but I'm still alive and I am still alive. So here's the hole. You can see it. Let's see where my ball ended up. Should be a little right for sure. Oh, look at it. Now, there's my ball right there. It's in the rough. Is it terrible? No, it's alive, which is most important. Now I have two, that, that white marker is 250 yards to the green. I'm behind that, so I have 265. Now, 265 yards. I know what you're thinking. Three wood. No, no. Let's call it 260. What's 260 divided by two? 130. You're telling me if I hit a 130 shot and then another 130 shot, I'm gonna be on the green and putting for birdie? Yeah, isn't that crazy how it works? Just math. So I'm gonna hit a 130 shot. Um, how, about a, how about a nine iron? The rough is kind of funny. You know, I wanna make sure that I can hit it well. So I hit a nine iron just out there into that big shadow. I turn back, bump, sweep. That's it. All I need is a 130 yard shot. I'm not trying to kill this thing. 130. Ball came out low. It's wet. This is very rough. One, 125. Not great by any means, but it's now back on the fairway. Ooh, back on the fairway, third shot. I should have 140 yards, maybe 150. I didn't hit that all of 130. It was rough and it was wet and I didn't make good contact and I swung very slow, but it's still okay. That's the best part of playing like this because you're still gonna be okay. And is it 130? No, it's probably 150. It is 150. So I hit that shot 110 yards. Look, there's 150 right there. And there's my ball. But I have 150 to the pin. I can do that. So now I'm gonna hit an eight iron. Yeah, eight iron. And all I wanna do is hit it somewhere up there and get it kind of close to the green. I'm not very picky and you shouldn't be either. Just get it moving forward and keep it straight. How do I hit the ball straight? Turn back lateral bump, sweep the ground, and keep your head down. Looks like this. Smooth. Let's smooth it out. Let's practice again. Let's get nice and smooth. Okay, let's look at it from here. Smooth. This is smooth. That to me is smooth. I'm, I have a good finish. I'm not falling all over the place. Smooth. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Smooth, 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 smooth. I'm in balance, I'm not falling. My head was down. It's perfect. It's perfect, you know why? Because I didn't do anything crazy. I didn't do anything crazy with my tee shot. I didn't do anything crazy with my second shot. I didn't try to hit a three wood from 260 out of the rough. I kept the ball on the short stuff and I fill my divots. And now I'm on the green, putting for birdie consistently. Yes, you can play like this. Yes, you can score like this. Just because you don't do crazy things doesn't mean that 
you can't score. I have a birdie putt coming up. Birdie. I mean, that's what we all want. If I two putt it, which I want to do, I made a par and I keep going. It's very important to keep the machine rolling effectively. Let's see where this ball went. Did I hit it too hard? Oh, I might have hit it too hard. No, I hit it. I even hit it short. We get a long putt. You get to see a long putt and my theory about long putting. So let's grab the putter. There's my ball there. Uh, there. Okay. I was way back there. And there's the pin. Okay. So I'm short. I have 40 feet. Am I going to make this putt? No. That's, that's, I'm checked out of that. I, I'm not going to make this putt. And that's okay. Green looks beautiful. Okay. I'm not going to make this putt. I understand that. And I've accepted it. And that's fine with me. Pars are okay. I pull this pin out. Now I'm going to give you, I'm going to let you in my head. First, I fix my ball mark because that's most important right now. Step one, fix your ball mark. Here's my ball mark. Way back here. Dump, 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 dump. Now I mark my ball and assess it. How do I assess it? Well, I know this is uphill because I can see a giant hill right there. So I know this is uphill. That's easy. Is it going left or right? This is how you figure that out. Straddle the line and let yourself go. I feel like I'm going that way. So guess what? My ball's going to go that way. So now I know that it's uphill and that way. That means I have to hit it a little harder and a little bit over here so that it breaks that way. Done. Done. That's it. How hard? Well, I like to envision this. Around the hole, there's a giant jacuzzi, six feet wide, and it has people in there drinking Miller High Life on a Friday afternoon. I want to take this ball and put it in the jacuzzi. Oh, okay. Not slam it in the jacuzzi. Just roll it in there so it trickles in, doesn't make a splash. I'm here for the party. How do I do that? How do I get the right speed? How do I judge it? Take it like you had a ball in your hand and roll it. Roll it. Roll it. That's it. Your brain knows what to do. Just imagine yourself rolling the ball up there into the jacuzzi without making a splash. Roll it. <coughs> that almost went in. I have a one footer for par, one footer. Let's make this though, it's not over. I have to make this one footer. So actually it's more like two and a half footer. Let's turn the camera so you can see it. Okay, very good. There's the putter. I mean, there's the hole and there's the ball. Everything's in frame. My cameraman called in sick today. Again, I'm gonna have to fire that guy. Oh wait, I don't have one, that's me. Okay, one and a half footer downhill. I get to the ball. I keep my head down and very lightly tap the ball and follow the ball with the club head. Follow the ball with the club head. Follow it into the hole. Just tap it and follow it. That's it. That's a par. And I did it almost effortlessly and brainlessly. Stick to the plan. I'm telling you this works. Three things that you can memorize at home. Wave to the camera, lateral bump, sweep the ground. My tips are consistent. They're always the same-ish. They're always the same-ish. I'm not putting a bunch of different material in your head. This works. Try it. I hope this helps you.